360 to present multiple perspectives, one on the issues teachers mentioned, para. Now, there is growing fear among state employees that the retirement fund relies on, uh, that it could just go belly up. Well, Denver 7's Mark Stewart lays out the program and its perils. A real-life civics lesson at the Colorado State Capitol. Teachers armed with signs, worried about their lives inside and outside of the classroom. Can you afford the basics to live? No, I live paycheck to paycheck and I'm barely getting by. And I'm a first-year teacher, so I don't have very... <laughs> I have a long road ahead of me. Among their concerns, retirement, an uneasiness shared by hundreds of thousands of state employees. Here's a 360 overview of Para the Public Employees Retirement Association. More than 560,000 Coloradans depend on it to live when they leave the workforce. State employees contribute to it, so too do their employers like school districts. But the reality is this, it's short on funding, anywhere from 32 to $50 billion. Now there are questions about how the shortfall should be fixed. It's a simple math equation, just in the past that we as policymakers have not uh, required enough money be put in. Among the ideas being discussed, changing the retirement age, adjusting the cost of living formula, and revising contributions from both employees and their employers. The teacher union has concerns about raising the retirement age. They also endorse a plan where employees or employers would have to put more into the fund. For more views, we hear from the governor. You know, some lawmakers are considering using general fund dollars to help with para, money that could be split between education and transportation. I think it's going to be one of those things where no one's, you know, no one's going to be happy, right? Each side thinks the other side's paying too much or giving in too much. So let's bring it back to you. What do you think? One of my Twitter followers saying, share the burden fairly amongst taxpayers, employers, employees, and retirees. Another viewer supporting raising the retirement to 65, saying, putting it in front of the governor, para, and legislature, it is fair. Just days ago, an editorial in the Denver Post condemned a plan to use tax dollars to pay the money necessary to keep para afloat, saying the move took a step backward. Discussion to fix a looming financial crisis in our state. Mark Stewart, Denver 7.